Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessing be upon his last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his companions and those who follow the right path. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his grace. Welcome again to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear beloved viewers, most of Ramadan is already gone. Only a few days remain and Ramadan leaves us for many months. We are not sure if we will be here when the next Ramadan comes. Now that fasting became much easier and night prayers more enjoyable, we wish that time slows down and we enjoy Ramadan a little longer. But the real question is what happens after Ramadan? Shall we start over? Shall we return to our previous selves? Or shall we continue what we used to do in Ramadan? How do we know if we succeeded in Ramadan or not? Many great people treat the whole year as if it is Ramadan, taking care to observe the same rules and guidelines of Ramadan throughout the year. Can we try that? Most Muslims got used in Ramadan to lots of goodness and abstained from lots of wrongdoings, which is great. But the question is, are we going to continue doing our best and avoiding the rest? Are we going to care for Salah and recitation of the Holy Quran as we used to be in Ramadan? Are we going to continue our charity and good behaviors? Are we going to continue being very merciful and forgiving? We have tried in this great month to be obedient to Allah Almighty and dedicated our time to worships and good words and deeds. We also decided to abstain from vulgar talk and ill speech and wrongdoings. It is not a sign of a truly good Muslim to be good only at times of the year. We need to be good throughout the year. Ramadan is like a special season where we learn to be better and strive to do more. We should then practice what we learned in our lives. Ramadan was a great time for repentance to Allah Almighty, but the door of repentance is never closed all year round. Allah Almighty says, and he is the one who accepts repentance from his servants and forgives the sin. And he knows what you do. Surah Ashura 42, verse 25. We need to thank Allah Almighty and praise him a lot for making us reach Ramadan and giving us the chance to fast and pray and do extra charity. Thanking Allah is not only by words, but also by actions and by the heart. Ask Allah Almighty to make you reach Ramadan again and again and ask him to accept it from you. Dear viewers, it is time now for a short break, but we will be right back with Goodbye Ramadan. Stay with us. Welcome back to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear viewers, let us remember that Ramadan was a great chance to increase your worships and good deeds and be closer to Allah Almighty. Yet the chance of doing all that is open throughout the year. Psalm and fasting is one of the characteristics of Ramadan. However, fasting remains desirable and called for as much as you are willing to do. Beside fasting the six days from Shawwal, the month after Ramadan, as well as the first 10 days from the Hijjah, the month of Hajj, and other occasions, you can also fast each Monday and Thursday, or at least three days each month, which the Messenger وسلم, encouraged us to do. Taraweeh uh, prayer was a specific prayer in Ramadan. However, the optional night prayers remain all the time. It is a prayer that the Messenger وسلم, used to do, and it holds great rewards and gets you closer to Allah the Almighty. As Allah the Almighty says, and pray in the small watches of the morning, it will be an additional prayer or spiritual prophet for thee. Soon will thy Lord raise thee to a station of praise and glory. Surah Al-Isra 17, verse 79. 
Let us not forget the daily optional prayers before or after the obligatory prayers, as well as the prayer of duha, the two raka'ah after wudu, etc. It is a competition, and it is up to you where you want to aim and where you want to reach. Dua and prayers, asking Allah the Almighty for forgiveness for your needs, surely it has increased in Ramadan. If the conditions are fulfilled, Allah the Almighty answers dua and prayers all the time, not just in Ramadan. So what about after Ramadan? Are you going to stop it or are you going to continue? Allah the Almighty says, and your Lord says, call on me, I will answer your prayers. Surah Ghafir 40, verse 60. One of the Sahaba عنهم, asked the Messenger وسلم, when is a prayer more likely to be answered by Allah Almighty? The Messenger وسلم, said to him, in the last part of the night and after the five obligatory salah. Are we going to miss these daily opportunities? Although many people also pay the obligatory charity and zakah in Ramadan, we need to clear that it is not linked to Ramadan, but to the end of one Hijri year from the time your money reached Nisab, which is the minimum amount for zakah to be due on a person. It is not allowed to delay the zakah after its due date. An optional charity is encouraged throughout our lives, not only in Ramadan. So let us not restrict our charities to Ramadan only and lose all these rewards. Dear viewers, let us say goodbye to Ramadan in a special way. Let us make a firm resolution to repent and abstain from all wrong words and deeds. Let us also try our best to be better after Ramadan than we were before Ramadan. Let us try to be humble and not think much of the good deeds we did in Ramadan so as not to be lazy after Ramadan. No one can be sure that his good deeds were accepted by Allah Almighty, so continue to do your best. Continue your hard work, striving for goodness and increasing worships as they wipe out mistakes and sins. Allah the Almighty says, and establish regular prayers at the two ends of the day and at the approaches of the night. For those things that are good, remove those that are evil. This is a reminder to those who remember their Lord. Surah 2, 11, verse 114. Dear viewers, we supplicate to Allah Almighty to grant us success in this great month and accept our deeds and make us steadfast in our worships and righteousness and make us good for ourselves and everyone around us. Ameen. See you again tomorrow, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace.